Dear friends in Christ, welcome to Monday of the fifth week of Lent. We are led to examine the unjust verdict passed on an innocent woman, Susanna. Two elders in the community testified falsely in chorus to have this woman condemned to death. Is our society today any different? Religious oaths, professional oaths, marriage vows, political oaths are now seen just as a normal routine. Where is the society going without the fear of God? Our first student today is from the book of Daniel, chapter 13. The name Daniel itself means God is my judge. And that plays out in this long passage. This story makes it abundantly clear that corruption in the high places is not something new. No one has immunity to temptation. But it's quite disheartening that those who are the elders of the society who should set the example for the younger generation use their position for their own selfish ends. These two corrupt elders tried to blackmail Susanna into a sexual relationship and once she refused, they plotted and lied to have her executed. God raised a young boy, Daniel, to interrogate them and to put them to shame and they couldn't agree on the details of their lies. God, by that, saved the life of Susanna and caused the two elders to suffer the punishment they had designed for her. Only God gives true justice. Examine yourself. Have you ever lied or tried to shame someone else in order to get what you want? Have you been fair to others in the way you seek honor, position, and privileges for yourself? How well are you living up to the vows and oaths you have made? Is your conscience clear that you have done your best and have been true to your commitments? Today's gospel is from John chapter 8, verses 12 to 20. And in it, Jesus affirms, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. You judge according to the flesh, I judge no one, yet even if I do judge, my judgment is true, for it is not I alone that judge, but I and he who sent me. In a world where judges are sometimes compromised and at other times judge only by what they say, only God is a true judge who can give to each one what their conduct deserve. Those who follow Christ, then, are not to be afraid of the darkness of this world where judgment is often not just, but must fear him who can kill the body and cast the soul to the hell of fire. Be afraid to live in the darkness of sin. Do not allow the leos of the world to corrupt your judgment. You will someday have to face God's judgment he who is the incorruptible judge. Let us pray. Lord, I commit myself to you. Be merciful in judging me because you know me through and through. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.